Hello, my, my name is Maria Burka. I was the 2011 president of AICHE. I'm here with Cheryl Teich, who is the incoming president. She's the president-elect. And I'm here to talk to her about what her plans are and about where she thinks her so-called administration will take AICHE. So Cheryl? Thanks, Maria. I'm very excited to take take on this role. Is this uh, this is somewhat of a, it's a challenge. It's a um, a stretch role. It, it, it's a an interesting time of my career for me. I think I've benefited so much from my AICHE involvement in, in developing leadership skills and hopefully time management skills that I'll be able to uh, succeed in both my day job and as president of the AICHE. Um, I think this is actually a really good time for women. Um, I'm with the National Science Foundation, and uh, chemical engineering is actually an excellent profession for women. Uh, the w number of women in chemical engineering is, is has held uh, at a pretty large number, and um, many of the chemi departments in this country actually have more women than men, which is not the case for the other engineering disciplines. I don't know if you find that in industry as well. I think there's a really good representation of women within industry, and I have to agree with you that I think it's such a great career choice. I think uh, there's so many skills that we bring to the table. I think there's so many uh, uh, opportunities within the world for people with a, a combination of the analytical skills and system skills that we learn as chemical engineers, as well as some of the people skills that perhaps women have better a better grasp of that uh, I think the opportunities are endless. I think there's so many times we collaborate, there's so many uh, times we collaborate with people of different cultures that there are so many skills that we bring to the table that I think we can, it's a great, it's a great job. I've always enjoyed being a chemical engineer. I think it's also particularly nice to be a chemical engineer in America where women do have these great opportunities and as AICHE gets more international, which was sort of one of my pet things, I think it's nice to see the U.S. kind of being a little bit of a leader in other countries where I see more and more women uh, when I go to meetings all over the world. I don't know if you find that in industry when, you know, chemical engineering is really a global profession. I mean, chemical engineering companies are all over the world, and it's nice to see more women. Absolutely, <laughs> and, and I have to tell you, um, and and it's, it's, it's interesting because it's something you said to me a, co <clears throat> a couple of years ago that I, at the time I don't know how seriously I took it and I've taken it to heart since about being a role model. And the truth is, is I have been working in, in the, as a chemical engineer for a little over 30 years, which is somewhat scary to think about. And I think... Um, uh, people and, and young women respect that and they do see that as a role model and I know you told me that a couple of years ago and I kind of pushed back because we do have we do we do operate in different spheres um, but I've noticed that and I've uh, I think I have found a voice in that I've noticed that people respond to that that uh, p younger people women as, as well as, as, as men respect the fact that we are people who have um, taken a leadership pos position in the profession and they are looking to us for guidance and, and, and for input and they may not always listen but I think they appreciate the fact that we're around and that we have a, a some experience and we're willing to share it. I, I think that's, that's really true and uh, as we try to encourage STEM education I think it's important to, to have an image of women engineers as, as you know, very uh, interesting uh, women with interesting careers who are normal, who are not the, the sort of the Dilbert uh, engineer <laughs> that we see in the paper. Um, and I think, I think um, our male colleagues are very good about, in chemical engineering, about accepting us and working with us, yes. which has been a, a wonderful experience, certainly for me. Uh, my colleagues have always been um, just, you know, uh, team players and we're accepted into these teams and I think it's important for young women to see that they have real futures in this profession. I, I will tell you that um, I did a lot of scale-up experience early in my career and I was working with plant operators and um, I have to tell you 
that my, my key learning on that was to <clears throat> treat everybody I worked with with all due respect, and uh, believe me, I, I was raised that way, so it wasn't exactly a, a, uh, a new learning for me, but I always felt mm -hmm. I was um, accepted within even the operating floor, as long as I listened to the operators and, and allowed them to tell me what they thought and didn't try to ar act arbitrarily in, in any way. And I think that's a, an experience that really has held me in good stead. I think. Um, the idea of listening to people is really important, and I think it's critical, as you say, as we move into uh, uh, a lot of team exercises, or rather team team situations, as well as international situations where culturally there are different standards. I think the importance of listening is is, is key. So, what what do you think? Um, what is your what are your plans for ICHE? <laughs> For the coming year. Well, I keep making a joke about with me that it's all about the basics. So, uh, <laughs> but it's it's to me there are, there are various things I want to accomplish that uh, fall under the umbrella really of, of establishing continuity, ensuring the continuity for the institute as well as the profession. So I'm very interested in the uh, AICH Academy as providing um, training that I think is, is important practical training for people, for young people as they transition from, from school into industry. I'm, I'm very interested in the question of uh, ensuring that our undergraduate education is firmly based in the basics so we give our, our students the best possible preparation for whatever career path they take. And I'm also interested in this additional question of leadership development, which is one of the new parts of the strategic plan because that we need to, uh, we, we've always heard people talk about needing those skills. Um, we need to understand how to identify leaders within the AICAG community and help them grow. Um, so to me it's, it's, it's the continuity question. Um, I'm very aware that bimodal distribution, I, I, I deal with it on a very, on a daily basis in my day job and uh, I think we the, the programs that I've talked about, the efforts I'm talking about, really are, are directed on breaching that, that gap within the two parts of that distribution because it's essential for really for the profession and, and for the health of our industry, health academia, and the health of the institute. Yeah, um, I, I think every profession um, needs to evolve and grow and change with the times. And uh, chemical engineering um, is now really a, a fantastic profession. Uh, especially when you look at the developments uh, that we have in energy because of shale gas. For a while there, chemical engineering jobs were going overseas, but I think a lot of them are coming back to this country. And developing shale gas as a feedstock is a, is a huge challenge and I think provides lots of opportunities for jobs for chemical engineers and for us to show what we can do. Um, do you feel that, that that's something ICHE is, is going to look into or, or, or sort of, I mean, I think, you know, every profession needs to change uh, as, as the times change. Do you feel that, that that's something that, you know, AICHE might be looking at more? Well, well I feel that some, when we talk about shell gas, and certainly we try to uh, extend our programming areas and our divisions into uh, technologies and, and areas that appear on the, on the horizon, and we've been working on this the whole upstream issue as well as, as um, what is it, non-traditional feedstocks. I also think that chemical engineering really is the is the uh, the bedrock of anything anybody is going to want to do in, in, in shale or any other non-traditional um, feedstock. That the skills we bring to the table really are the basics for it. It's all thermodynamics, it's mass and energy balances. And I've been dealing with process work for my entire career. So I think with me, I see the existing patterns. So I, I don't know, I think it's an extension to another new and exciting part of what's going on there. I think the skills that we have in our basic fundamentals are really what's going to support the development. I agree with you. I think we are, we are in an ideal Absolutely. situation, and I think it's a very exciting time to be a chemical engineer. I think so. Every time I talk to the students, I say, you are, you are entering the profession at such a wonderful time. Right. So go do your homework. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I think uh, it's been wonderful. 
Anything else you'd like to add for our young people before we say goodbye? Well, any, I just say that I'm really excited about having this opportunity because I feel like I'm on the um, the shoulders and the shoes of many great people and, and certainly you're <laughs> way on top of the list. So I want to encourage people to, uh, to get involved. If I had one thing to say that uh, if I had to do it over again, I, I always say I was a late bloomer when it came to activities in the AICHAs and I know how much I've grown. I, I know that. And uh, so I would encourage people to, to get involved early. I think it's, it be, especially so exciting right now there's so much activity that I would say do, do it now in, in whatever way you think you would like to get involved. I, I agree um, and I, I'm very excited that uh, you're going to be the president next year. Uh, it was a lot of fun for me. Uh, I, uh, I was very lucky. I had a predecessor, Diane Dorland, who was the first female president of ASCHE and, and she really led the way for us and, uh, and I think we're both very lucky to have this great opportunity to uh, to do our our best for the profession. I agree with you completely. So, thank you very much.